I'm uh, Kyle Stratton. Um, I play in Atala. And I play guitar and sing and I write the songs. Um, I think Jeff and I formed Atala in 2013 with uh, the original bass player was this guy named Ron uh, Snail. Six years later, we're on our third bass player. Still doing it, still traveling around the country and doing our thing in other countries now and stuff like that. But yeah, six years, we're still going. Atala, to me, it's a way of self-expression. So it's like me being able to express like my innermost, deepest, darkest secrets with people who we end up loving each other, you know? So Atala to me is like a connection between me and the listener. And I feel like anybody who understands it, then we instantly become friends. I mean, I don't think anything should go in boxes or whatever. So guitar is just like heavy, hard rock with metal inflections. I think that we would try to be so heavy that and slow to where you can open up a wormhole to another dimension or something, you know? So that style. <laughs> I remember getting into heavier, slower stuff at around that same time when everybody was like, let's play fast, let's play fast, let's play fast. I liked bands like Flipper and the Melvins that were like, no, we're just gonna play slow and you either like it or fuck you, you know? You know, I've been thinking about what I get out of music a lot lately because I go back and forth with wanting to like give up because you ask yourself, like, why am I doing this? And, and why do I continue to keep trying to do this? And the truth is, is that me personally, I do it because what else would I do if I didn't do it? Like, who would I be if I didn't make the art that was inside of me? I do it for me, but I also do it for people who find it. And maybe they feel like someone else feels the same way as they do and the music helps because I think I do it personally as like a diary for me. Part of that is reaching out to others and just trying to say like, I feel this way, so you're not alone. I think that if, if I play a show and one person at the end of the show, it helps them and they're like, you know, I really understand those feelings. That's what I do it for. I do it for them. My name is Jeff and I play drums in Atala. What does Atala mean to me? What it means to me is I actually am expressing myself in the best way that I can actually. Playing drums and all that, like where I'm at right now, I feel like it's like the best thing that I got going for me. <laughs> Nothing else kind of really makes sense. So playing in Atala just, it's, that's what it is for me really. But honestly, I'm really inspired by whatever really kind of strikes to me. Like one day I'll be listening to like, I don't know, like I will be listening to Yob or Monolore. The next day I'll be listening to Thriller by Michael Jackson. Before I even got here, I was blaring Whoop There It Is by Tag Team. And it's like, you know, I'm, I love like 90s R&B and hip hop. So it's like anything that kind of has a groove to it, even like Earth, Wind & Fire. It was whatever I'm really feeling at the time. Heavy. It's all Atal really is. Integrating everything that I really listening to, but at the core of it all, Atal is just straight up heavy. I started playing the drums uh, when I was 12 years old. I kind of did it as a way to try and keep up with my brother. Like I was like, I have something to prove to him because he learned how to play the guitar and like he bought an acoustic guitar and then he bought this electric guitar. He learned how to play Stairway to Heaven and all that. And I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna match up to that. So I bugged the shit out of my mom and she got me like this unknown off-brand drum set from the Philippines. I started on that and then I didn't get my first like real drum set until like I was a freshman in high school and it was a Pearl Forum kit. My brother would just throw shoes at me because he'd be napping and I'd just be wailing away at the drums at like two in the afternoon, he'd be like, shut the fuck up, just throw them at me. I still kind of play, just because I'm an asshole like that. Through all the people just telling you to shut the fuck up and you're just kind of doing it. And um, that's where I ended up just gaining all of where I'm at today, just by kind of just pushing forward from that. 